Welcome to this promotion video provided by Transfer. In this video, we provide an overview and demonstration of ActiveGate SS, which prevents erroneous email sending for Office 365 and Google Apps. Well, we will explain first about basic functions of ActiveGate SS. The first is encryption of file attachment. All you need to do is send in an email with attaching a file. ActiveGate SS automatically encrypts the file and delivers to a recipient in secure condition. In addition, ActiveGate SS allows flexible password setting. For example, you can use a random password, set a password each time of sending, and set a fixed password for a specific domain in advance. The second is web download of file attachment. This function is very useful when a user sends a large file which can be sent via email. For example, in case of set 5 MB as the maximum attachment size, when the file size exceeds the value, the file attachment is separated from the mail body and uploaded on our cloud infrastructure. Then a URL link is added to the mail body and sent to the recipient. And the recipient access to the URL, enter his own email address, and the notified password in order to download the file. In addition, if a sender attaches the wrong file, he can disable the link on his user interface even after sending out the email with the link and the password to the recipient. This strengthens security when erroneous email sending happens. The third is temporary pending of sending emails. An administrator creates policy defining cogent required emails, and when an email which matches the policy is sent, the email is temporarily held on the server. The holding term and how to treat the email after passing the term can be freely set by administrator. In general, many of our customers use the policy to send out email automatically after holding for 5 or 10 minutes. And the fourth is delayed transmission. This function is used in combination with the temporary pending function. For example, when an email contains both external domain and internal domain as a destination, the email to internal domain is sent in first and the email to external domain is held. The fifth is email header conversion function. For example, in case of sending an email to many recipients simultaneously, when you enter the email addresses into two or CC fields, they become known to other recipients. In order to prevent the leakage of email address defined as the privacy information by law, this function is very useful. In case you send emails to many different domains using two or CC fields, this function converts automatically all email addresses in two or CC fields to BCC field to prevent the leakage of email address. The sixth is reduction of email sending. The administrator can set up policies what kind of email not to be sent. For example, when an email which contains the keyword confidential in the email contents, when a competitor's email domain or free email domains are contained to the destination, the email cannot be sent to such prohibited destinations. The finally, seventh is manager approval. In case of creating policy using this function, when a user sends an email which matches a certain condition, his manager's approval is required to send out. Sometimes this function may increase the workload of the manager, so instead of the approving process, the manager's address can be automatically added to CC or BCC field. This can bring a deterrent effect for the intentional information leakage. Then, we'd like to show the system configuration of ActiveGate SS. In this time, we show the case when using for Office 365. As you see, ActiveGate SS does not intervene the receiving root. So, if any troubles occur on ActiveGate SS just in case, it will never cause a receiving failure. Well, we'd like to show a demonstration with using the actual interface. This is an interface of Office 365. 
Now, I will send an email from this Office 365 to the destination of Google Apps. This is the recipient's Google Apps. And this is ActiveGate SS. Please imagine an email is sent from Office 365, goes through ActiveGate SS and reaches Google Apps. Well, I'd like to send this email. I will send this to two recipients, Indiana Jones and Harry Potter. These are Gmail addresses. I have entered my own mail address into CC fields to show you delayed transmission function. And I attach some files, PDF file, Excel file, and PowerPoint file. Now, I send this mail. Complete it. In my own mailbox, the mail which I sent has already arrived. Actually, the administrator has previously set up the policy to hold email to external domains. So the notice mail which notice me an email has been held will reach from ActiveGate SS soon. Oh, just read it. In this notice mail, there are the subject of email I sent and the URL link. By accessing this URL, I can check the email again on a different interface and I can send out or delete. You can freely customize the contents of the notice mail so for example, you can add a link to release and send out the email immediately or delete it immediately without accessing the web page for confirmation. Well, I will access to this URL. The confirmation interface opened. This interface shows the reason the email has been held. In this demonstration, I show one unique feature, hidden character function. To proceed the next process, I have to enter a correct alphabet for an email address. If the correct one was entered and the address was completed, approved button become available. Then ActiveGate SS has a function to hold an email which contains a specified keyword. In this case, important is the keyword. I check the contents and mark the checkbox. If I found any mistake, I can delete this email by clicking this delete button or this link. This is the interface of a temporary pending of sending email and delayed transmission. Next, I'd like to show function of file attachment encryption. I will send this email to Indian in Harry the same way as previous. I entered my own mail address into CC field, attached PowerPoint file, Excel file, and PDF, where I have disabled the temporary pending function because I already showed the function. Well, I send this. It's about time the email reaches Gmail. Let's take a look. You can see that each recipient received two mails. First, I'd like to see Indiana's email. Notification of file attachment encryption. The password is delivered in a separate email. The message has been inserted into the top of the mail body. Administrator can freely edit the notification message. The file attachment has been encrypted to the zip file, you know. I'd like to open this zip file.
the zip opened like this, and double click the file to open, a password is required. The password is sent in a separate email. I'd like to check it. A random password is described in this notice mail. I copy this password, paste the fields, and click OK button. The file is opened. This is a series of steps of a recipient. Oh, I sent the same email to Holly. Let's confirm that too. In Holly's email, the file attachment has been switched to a URL link to download on the web. Now I'd like to access this URL. Enter this recipient Harry's email address and enter a password. The password has been sent in a separate email. Harry's password is not a random password. Use the fixed password and only the hint has been sent. Where is your score? Enter the password and log in. Click this download button or this download the file in a zip file button to download the file. Well, here I'd like to show some unique feature of ActiveGate SS. The first is a preview function of file attachment. Of course, click this file name here. You can confirm the contents of the file. In addition, click this magnifying glass mark. The thumbnail is shown below. One more click on this thumbnail, you can confirm the file on larger view. This function can prevent end user from sending a wrong file to the wrong destination. Next, this is a web page for statistics information. The administrator can confirm various statistics information in the administrator interface. Also, Activegate SS allows customers to set up flexible policy setting. Please see the setting sample. You can add various conditions from address, subject, keyword in a mail body. For example, when an email contains an external destination, When a specific keyword is contained in mail body or contents of file attachment, when an email contains a certain number of file attachment, addresses, or telephone numbers, or when an email exceeds a certain size, you can restrict them by setting policies. Finally, I'd like to show you Manager Approval function. This web page is the interface for manager when he receives the approval mail. The manager checks the email address and the contents of the email and approves. He can also add a comment here. and the sender received a notice mail when the manager completed the approval. The sender access to a URL in the notice mail and confirms the status on this web page. When was the email approved? Whether the email was successfully delivered to the recipient mail server or not? As you know well, ActiveGate SS has various unique functions and ensures secure communication by preventing erroneous email sending. 
we hope that you will be interested in our service. If you have any question or need further information, please contact us. Thank you for watching.